else. Of course, we have Reverend Wright. He made a ripple, but Obama gave one teleprompter speech, waved his magic wand, and the media dutifully went into submission. You'll understand this phrase here in just a few minutes. This will horrify you, what I'm about to show you, in about five minutes from now. Here's CNN on Jeremiah Wright. I want to just stipulate at the beginning of this interview, we are declaring a Reverend Wright free zone today. So no questions about <laughs> Reverend Wright. Our viewers want us to move on, so this morning we're going to move on. Is that okay with you? Fair enough. Oh, no, I want to talk about that guy. Once elected, wouldn't it have been nice if the media noticed Van Jones, he was a communist. Wouldn't it be nice if they did that? You know, I talked to a, a journalist today who said, I have to tell you, Glenn, the investigative reporters I know, they didn't even know who Van Jones was when he was escorted out of the White House. I can guarantee you they still don't know who that man is. Would, we, would it be nice if the journalist decided to tell you what progressives' true intentions were? Would this country know that progressives are a threat to this country if I didn't start looking into it? And how did I come across it? Why did I? People have been talking about progressives for a long time, but nobody in the media. I became interested in the progressives after I saw this. I prefer the word progressive, which has a real American meaning, going back to the progressive era at the beginning of the 20th century. I consider myself a modern progressive. Oh, yes. I consider myself a proud modern American progressive, and I think that's the kind of uh, mm -hmm. philosophy and practice that we need to bring back mm -hmm. to American politics. And that's the word they used back then, too, modern. I wanted to look that up. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Monsters hidden. That didn't inter interest any journalist. No, 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 no. She's not a liberal. Well, what's the difference between a liberal and a progressive? How does no journalist bother with that unless they know? Now we know that progressives are conspiring to progress us past the outdated Constitution and the horror show that they have caused planet-wide. Oh, here's one more. Most people haven't even heard of this guy, Rashid Khalidi. He's great. He's a radical Palestinian activist who caused Israel an apartheid system in creation, a racist state, and he has several times expressed su support for suicide bombers as a legitimate response to Israeli aggression. Obama served on the board of the Woods Foundation with him, funneled over $75,000 to his wife's organization, and even praised him on tape during a farewell dinner for Khalidi. The LA Times obtained that tape during the 2000 election, but chose not to air it. Why? I have defended this media for a very long time. I have said that Rush Limbaugh was wrong. I didn't believe that there was a star chamber, that there are some in the media in the basement calling each other up and plotting things. Why? Because I'm busy with my own life. I'm busy doing my own stuff. Somebody's going to call me, oh, it's Diane Sawyer. Hello? What a waste of time. But tonight I have to correct that mistake because there is evidence now that they are still trying to cover things up. Evidence, as we always do on this program, in their own words. Next. The Daily Caller has an explosive new report out today, Daily, dailycaller.com. It is worth viewing. There are 400 journalists who are part of a list serve for journalists called Journal List. Oh. According to the records obtained by the caller, Journalists were coordinating, brainstorming, and actively working together to make sure that Barack Obama was elected. This isn't going to come as a surprise to you because you sensed it on television. You know. That's why their ratings are going down and nobody's reading newspapers anymore. You know you're being scammed. But this is a damaging story to the president. If there was a damaging story to the president in the past, these journalists would work out ways to fix the damage. Here are just a few of the highlights of the text going back and forth. When videos surfaced of Barack Obama's pastor, 20 years, Reverend Jeremiah Wright, who called America KKK of A, he called whites the oppressor, and so on and so forth. When ABC asked Obama if his reverend loved America, the journalist over at Journal List, List Serve, called George Stephanopoulos a disgusting little rat snake. 
That was Richard Kim of The Nation. Others took the rage and plotted it into action. Journalists from Time, Politico, The Huffington Post, no, wonder why the president recommends them, The Baltimore Sun, The Guardian, Salon, The New Republic, all plotted to fix the damage of Jeremiah Wright. Spencer Ackerman of the Washington Independent urged his colleagues to deflect attention from Obama's relationship with Wright. His suggestion? Pick one of Obama's conservative critics and play the race card. Quote, Fred Barnes, Karl Rove, who cares? Call them racists. The writer for The Guardian said, quote, Listen, folks, in my opinion, we have to do all we can to kill ABC and this idiocy in whatever venues we have. This isn't about defending Obama. This is about how the mainstream media kills any chance of discourse that actually serves the people. No, no, I'm sorry. That is not your job to kill damaging stories. Your job is to inform people. Report the truth, no matter what the truth is. Without a press that doesn't understand its place, the republic does not survive. Think of places like Venezuela and Cuba or China. Think of the former Soviet Union. How do people trust what's coming from the media? I never thought I would say this in America, but I don't trust damn near anything that comes out of the television set anymore. You can't. Where do you go for information now? Well, guess what, gang? We're here. Question is, do you still trust us? Our media is willfully suppressing stories because they can harm a candidate that they like. How do we fix it? Next. I asked you last night, look, nobody's going to fix this country. No, no politician's going to fix it. No, no club, no, nothing. Nothing's going to fix this country. The media is not doing their job. You need to. We are 40 days and 40 nights away from 828, and I'm asking you to change your life in the next 40 days and 40 nights. You become the person you were meant to be, not the person you've been allowed, you, you've allowed yourself to come. Um, we are day 39. I would like you to write this down. I would like you to remember this, please and ponder it on day 39. There is no peace without hope. There is no hope without liberty. There is no liberty without integrity. Are we not finding this out now? We don't have integrity. We're losing our liberty. There is no integrity without virtue. There is no virtue without enlightenment. And there is no enlightenment without truth. You want all of these? It's easy. It's easy. Start with the truth. You will gain enlightenment. You will look to be a virtuous person, which will lead you to integrity. You will have integrity, which will lead you to liberty, which will give you hope. They tie into each other. We must start here. This is the problem with our country. We don't know who to believe anymore. We're not getting the truth from the media. We're not getting the truth from Washington. We're not getting the truth anywhere. Find the truth. Wipe out all lies and everything else in your own life. Be someone that everyone can trust. Make a pledge to yourself and change your life in the next, well now, 39 days. Let your children see the example. And then join me in Washington at the feet of Abraham Lincoln as we seal, as we seal our sacred documents and our, our virtues, our principles into our children and save the republic. Focus on truth. By the way, I can't uh, thank you enough. I can't thank you enough for uh, all the thoughts and the prayers um, that have come my way since uh, yesterday. I mean, uh, yesterday I told you about I was having problems with my eyes and the thoughts and the prayers that have come by, and I, I thank you very much for that. I also found out from, from the people in the left that um, this, I don't have a real problem with my eyes. This is only a scam for ratings. Yes. Tune in tomorrow to find out if I'm still slowly going blind. Good night, America.
from New York.